episode of the next 48 hours on DSTV. My name is Liesl van Avestazen and it's so great to be keeping you company again this week, looking ahead at what's happening in the mother city over the next 48 hours and reflecting back at the weekend that was. Now just last week our next 48 hours team headed down to the National Botanical Gardens in Kirstenbosch to find out more about the exhibit that they are going to be showing at the Chelsea Flower Show in England in May. And this year's exhibit looks incredible. We were there to capture all the action and wish the team well as they head on over to compete against 550 other exhibits. It is hopefully going to be our 34th medal that we've won. So take a look at what happened. Nature is the theme for this year's Sanby Kirstenbosch South Africa exhibit at the Royal Horticultural Society Chelsea Flower Show in London in May. Uh, I am David Davidson, one of the designers of the exhibit for the Chelsea Flower Show. And I'm Ray Hudson, I'm the other one. Uh, the theme for our exhibit this year is essentially about celebrating um, sustainability. This is something that's very important in today's environment and I was very mindful of it, particularly on Human Rights Day when we had a fundraising concert in Kirsten Washington to raise funds for this exhibit. Uh, that it is also very apposite to remember that the earth also has rights and it's our responsibility to live sustainably and in harmony with nature. My name is Kelly Ann, I represent the South African Gold Coin Exchange and the Scoin Shops. Um, we as a company we promote the legacy and heritage of our golden country through our gold coins and medallions. We give the world an opportunity to own a piece of this rich heritage in the same way of which Kirsten Bosch takes our country and floral heritage to the world. The Canopy Walk um, is affectionately known as the Boom Slum and um, this is an elevated walkway uh, and the roots or the, uh, the skeletal shape of the uh, snake or the worm slung form the walkway that goes around the tree canopy so it gives you wonderful 360 views around the gardens. Um, as we go into the pristine um, ecosystem the worm slung snake becomes uh, uh, the rest of the skeletal shape which then just sort of completes the curve of the, the snake and becomes an ends in the head. It is the same floral heritage that we possess as a country and our series of minted coins and medallions that depict that heritage which creates the synergy between Kirsten Bosch and ourselves. We're very excited to be involved with them for the fourth year running and we wish them to bring back the gold. South Africa's rich natural biodiversity with its wealth of design inspiration and paired with the cultural diversity and architectural creativity of its people, the exhibit will once again be striving for a gold medal, the 34th in its 39 year history of exhibiting. driving out of town this weekend, FAMFest is waiting for you. FAMFest is a family-friendly festival that will take place at the Wild Clover Farm on the R304 Stellenbosch on Sunday, April the 13th. This will be the first of many FAMFest festivals to take place in the northern suburbs. The event, which celebrates the joy of childhood, is staffed by childminders and offers an abundance of activities and entertainment for both young and old. Included in your ticket price are loads of inflatables, face painting, interactive dance sessions, balloon sculpturing and much, much more. Entry is just 60 Rand per person. The event starts at 10 a.m. Sunday the 13th of April.
May is the month of celebration for the 48 Hours brand. It is celebrating its 10th birthday. So keep an eye out on the next 48 Hours website, Facebook page and Twitter to see how you can stand a chance to win some awesome prizes and you can join in on all the fun and activities as we celebrate 10 years with the next 48 Hours. the next 48 hours. Now, just over 10 years ago, a man had a dream to start a brand called The Next 48 Hours that reflected the weekend ahead and what was happening. And this year we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of The Next 48 Hours. And joining me in the studio is the man behind this dream, Rashad Khan. Nice to be chatting to you. I should say boss. No, it's a pleasure being here. Now, the brand has grown. It's not only the newspaper. You've seen it gone to uh, Durban, you've seen it go to Joburg, you've seen it on TV as well, online, people are on cyberspace are getting it from everywhere in the world. Was that something that you thought would be a reality 10 years ago? Look, I'm a newspaper person. From the word go, we said we'll have a weekly ed edition called The Next 48 Hours, it's a tabloid, uh, and we'll keep it colourful to, colorful to stick to a magazine format. But then I got a call once from a lady in Tokai saying, I can't get a copy. And you know, you can't print for everybody. And that's when a website was born. So we could tell people that, you know what, if you can't get a copy, log on to our website and you'll read all the content. But three years ago, we realized that online is, is going at such a fast pace. It's becoming the medium of choice for the younger generation and for everybody else. Um, so we took online seriously and we're very happy with where our online is. Our website is now visited more than 100,000 times a month. Uh, our social media com community between Facebook and Twitter is in excess of 20,000 members. So we're happy with the online space. And yeah, you know, 10 years ago, did I think of it? No. But uh, we're happy to embrace it. And the newest part of it is this TV show, uh, which we're excited. And it's, uh, it's growing. And, and that's the important thing about the brand. In terms of Durban and Johannesburg, small growth, but we haven't put the effort. And the next 10 years would be a full push on Durban, Johannesburg, and who knows beyond that as well. So how are we celebrating this 10th year anniversary? So the celebration started this week. There's a few things going on. You'll start seeing the presence of our 10th anniversary logos in print, online, TV today. Uh, next week, a radio campaign breaks with one of the biggest radio stations in Cape Town. And then a bumper edition. we doing the celebratory edition on the 30th of April, 24 pager. A real blast from the past celebration uh, and in that space from now to then we'll start giving viewers and, and listeners and, and, and readers the opportunity to, to name what they think uh, is the best in Cape Town and we'll try and accumulate or put together a list of the top 10. Uh, there's a gala dinner on the 22nd of May uh, at one of the top uh, hotels in the city and then at the end of uh, May we go into um, the Good Food and Wine Show four days of high action, interaction with the 50,000 visitors there. And in between all of that, just watch this space. There's lots of giveaways, lots for the viewers, lots for the readers to, to win and experience the 48 hours uh, lifestyle. happening in and around the mother city and our team from the next 48 hours have decided to compile a list of the best spas in the mother city so each week we'll be looking at various spas in and around the mother city and giving you a rating and telling you where the hottest spot is to go this week we take a look at Armani spas and definitely in for a complete treat take a look at this <music> Hello, my name is Julie Van Rooyen. I'm the spa manager at Amani Cape Town. Welcome. 
This is our facilities where you can, amongst other things, experience our signature treatments, the Karula treatment and the Jewel of Africa massage. He said no, for the cans, mini tarantula dance. Ooh, tarantula, creep by in bulla, dance of the dark stuff. Your foot the mood hard drop, the top of the beva, the dance on your lever, so creep by in bulla, drag. Emo Adams will host the new kids on the block fundraiser. He will also take the stage with his band, Take Note, to perform. All proceeds are in aid of a charity who do renovation and maintenance of childcare facilities. Snacks will be served, or bring your own food, and there will be a cash bar. Doors open at 7pm, and the show will be held at the All Star Theatre in Brackenfell. Je moet dat druk, je moet dat draaien, je moet daar aan ons zwaaien Die tarantula, tula, dat is kwaai Wow, wow, je kan nou dansen met zoals jij wil Je moet daar in je leven ook krullen Je moet dat druk, je moet dat draaien, je moet daar aan ons zwaaien Die tarantula, tula, dat is kwaai Oh, 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 tarantula, grijp haar in bolla Dans op het drafstap, je voeten moet hard trap Die tafel moet beven, die dans van je leven Zo grijp haar in bolla, druk haar in draaien so do the tarantula to la dance Yeah, it's great that we go with a cans Yeah, you have to drink, you have to drink, you have to run Oh, so I eat the tarantula to la dance is quiet So do the tarantula to la dance Yeah, it's great that we go with a cans Je moet dat druk, je moet dat draaien, je moet daar aan ons zwaaien Die tarantula, tula, dat is kwaai Wow, wow, je kan nu dans met zoals jij wil Je moet daar in je leven ook krullen Je moet dat druk, je moet dat draaien, je moet daar aan ons zwaaien Die tarantula, tula, dat is kwaai Oh, oh, oh the next 48 hours on DSTV here on CTV. Now if you're a trick and you're racking your brain what to do next year and you cannot think of anything to do, we've got the perfect weekly feature for you. We're going to be looking at the courses on offer at North Link College. It's a further education training institute offering a variety of courses and each week we'll be focusing on a different course on offer there. So take a look at this. Northling College offers a two-year certificate course in clothing production. Aimed at the creative individual with a flair for fashion and an interest in the design and construction of a variety of garments. We start with basic garments like skirts, blouses and then we go to more difficult garments like men's clothes, tailoring and also wedding dresses. We also at the end of the year they do a grange which makes it very exciting to them because now they can design a range for the fashion show. We teach them entrepreneurship where they learn how to start their own business and we also teach them computer skills. We have an annual fashion show at the end of the year where our final years showcase their ranges to the public and to people from the fashion industry. After you've completed the course there are different job opportunities for you. You can start as an sample machinist, a pattern maker, or the ultimate is to be a buyer at one of the fashion houses. You can also start your own business from the skills that we've taught you. Some of the students also work in a clothing factory here at the campus where they learn different skills. My name is Bongani. Yeah. I stay in Philippe. I'm doing um, fashion design here at Notling and this is my first year. I found the course very interesting. My name is Wikiswa Kekese. I'm doing a clothing production course here at Nordlink. Uh, I'm here because I love sewing. Uh, we only started about uh, uh, two months ago, but this is what I've already made. Well, I couldn't sew 
episode all now got here so now I can make skirt so I'm finished my skirt today and doing overlocking which I can never do so I learned a lot around here um, I like this cottage because we do everything that we do in theory we both are doing practical which is really nice because then you can you learn so much better from the um, project itself and um, all of the people we work very nice together, the whole class is in harmony and um, the lecturers are very good and they're very prepared on everything that they do. Emphasis is placed upon the creative and technical skills of design, pattern making and sewing in order to send innovative, competent and skilled individuals into the fashion industry. So we hope that you guys enjoyed what you've seen here at the Northland Cottage Lifestyle Store. Everything from formal wear, uniforms, even mugs and a lot more is available for you at the Lifestyle Store. So if you're in the Belleville area, please drop by our Northland Cottage Protea campus and have a look at the Lifestyle Store. I started my career in the fashion in 1996 in South Africa and I've been in it ever since. But I always had the sort of the pull towards the Cape Quarters because I love this center and the style here and it's very cosmopolitan and European and it attracts a lot of sort of um, international um, uh, feet here so and that is my my um, trend and my style is more internationally orientated. I used to know her when she was in Garden Centre and um, she always has very different clothes to anybody else. She has a basic range at a reasonable price but in the back she always keeps some very special little um, very unusual and exotic numbers and um, for special people or at certain times she brings them out and you can always find something really amazing and really different for a party or some special occasion. So the, the location of the shop, I think um, she's actually going to really do well moving from Garden City here and her styles and her fashion, it's, um, everything that's um, in fashion at the moment, the 20th century fashion and I think um, I wish her well and I think she's going to do very well here. Thanks. With a new store I'm going to focus on more, um, even more exclusive especially local suppliers because I find our um, labels are quite on par with the international labels these days. yourself in the mother city on the first Thursday of the month this is when the city's art galleries come alive at night you can walk around the inner city and experience various galleries and exhibitions that are open until 9 p.m. and best of all entrance is free it's just showcasing the best that's on offer in the mother city and our team from the next 48 hours took the cameras down to the inner city to find out more about this incredible project called the first Thursdays the art scene is alive and kicking in Cape Town on the first Thursday of every month. 
With a mix of pop culture and urban art, the galleries located around the CBD, from Brie to Church to Long Street and Loop, open their doors for the public to enjoy what local artists have to offer. My name is Charles Besaidnet, I'm the owner of the World Art Gallery, which is here in Cape Town on Church Street. Um, I started World Art in 2004 and uh, it's, a, it's a commercial gallery with, a, with, with and we do uh, contemporary art with a strong leaning towards urban and pop art. I find urban art fascinating. It's um, for those who don't know, it's, it's art that uses street art elements really for paintings, etc. In a gallery context, so you'd find um, graffiti, spray paint, uh, uh, stencil techniques, all that sort of thing, and um, tagging. So yes, that's what we do. Um, my main artists are people like Kilmeny Joe Levisage, Kaya Vitboy, uh, Gavin Rain for the pop side, and Dion Cupido. Hi, my name is. Kai I'm a vet boy. Um, I'm a visual artist, and uh, my style is uh, somewhat between urban art and pop. I think it's an evolution of pop into something that's more closer to anyone. Um, based on the work, um, uh, I intended to interpret like what it feels to, to me uh, to be a South African. First of all, I'm a proud South African. I have no no doubts about uh, whether I want to be here or somewhere else. I think this is, a, this is the best country like for me right now. Uh, based on the, on the exhibition, I mean it's called My People at Ferro Go, but uh, basically it's, it's, it's all about uh, putting two things that would be so far apart and uh, twisting them around so that we can reflect like our immediate uh, circumstances. Hi, I'm Belisa Rodriguez. I actually work for the African Arts Institute, a Cape Town based NGO. And I'm just attending Kaya Vitboy's um, exhibition uh, on first Thursdays, which is uh, every month there's a, an open gallery for the public to come and experience the arts in, in Cape Town. Um, and I think this is a very great initiative for the general public to become sensitized to the role of arts and culture in building a society that's free and that can experience and enjoy the cultural life that is our human rights. And I think uh, Kaya's exhibition in particular is a, a, a particular exhibition that speaks truth to power. He speaks about political issues, about engaging uh, politics and about really revealing and exposing what is happening in the South African society now, especially in the lead up to the elections. So I think it's very important for the public to be exposed to the dichotomies and the contradictions that are um, currently prevalent in our society so that we can fix it or intervene uh, in some manner. episode of the next 48 hours we would however love to hear from you so keep in contact with us either via our Facebook page or Twitter or our website and let us know what's hot and happening in your neighborhood in Cape Town have yourself a fantastic weekend and remember it's not just a weekend it's the next 48 hours <laughs>